Hey everyone, it's Dan as Almost Everything 84. Have a review today of the Sunny Tech Solar Power Energy Do It Yourself kit uh, for a Blockwood windmill. Um, I've seen some of them as windmills and like a water mill. Mine's a water mill, as you could see. Uh, but the uh, I think you have the choice to pick which uh, which design you'd like. So, you know, a couple of things that I do like about this, it's pretty educational. You know, like any do-it-yourself kit, you know, kids, parents, they can work as a team to get this built. Um, you know, not to mention that it, it actually is just not a stationary puzzle. It moves um, and has some mechanical uh, abilities to it. It's pretty easy to set up. Uh, you know, you just pop out the pre-cut-out pieces, then you assemble it. You don't need to cut anything or get glue or any really any tools involved at all. And then it's run on sim simple solar energy. Um, all you need is like a strong light or the sun to get this thing going. And as if you see, if I just pop on a light, it's going to start spinning instantly. So I'll flip it around, but there is a uh, little solar, little solar panel there right on the roof that I put. But the way I have it angled, it catches right now the light like this. Let me get that. Going there, there we go. Needs pretty strong light to get going. Um, and the other thing I really like about it is it's not too delicate. As you can see, I just handled it without it breaking. A lot of the kits that I've seen, are, the wood is so thin that uh, if you go to touch it, you know, things start breaking off and cracking. And that, that really isn't the case. This thing's been spinning for hours before um, without any issues at all. So a couple things that I, you know, I suggest and similar to other people that have reviewed this, you know, the directions, they're a little... Uh, hard to understand they could use some work um i found it a little confusing myself it took me about 25 minutes to put together and i had to redo a couple steps because some of the pictures are are not in the right like they're you'd think it's like number one and number two but then it's number two and to number one and it's kind of reverses so it's a little a little weird how that's set up but you know honestly you could build this thing without any directions at all it's pretty self-explanatory i would say you know ages seven and up is a good Range here, the small pieces could be a choking hazard if you have little kids, toddlers. Um, and the other thing I did, I want to say is you want to make sure you have strong light because when I first built this, I uh, put it by the window and nothing was happening and I was like, oh, this thing doesn't work. But you really have to have sunlight directly on it or how I have a light hanging right above it right now to get it going. So ultimately, you know, I think this is a great piece to have, great educational piece for any child, adult. Uh, to work on, you know, you learn a little about solar energy, how the, how the mills can be operated. Uh, as you can see, I have the final product here. It looks really cool. Uh, and it would look pretty good in anyone's room, office, or perhaps in the classroom. Definitely uh, five stars in my book. And I hope that, you know, this video and description helps you make your decision. Thanks. Bye.